called depression the right way. Because I wrote out my depression. I realized that um, with everything that I've been through, conquering my depression, a big coping method for me, has been my right. It's been my journey. And writing my music. So I wanted to share with the world and help others. I call it a self-help poetry book. Because I, when I opened the book, I wrote poems that helped me get through certain situations. And I challenged the reader to do the same thing. So I put the uh, ball in you guys' court when you, when you hear my poetry for you to do the same thing and attack certain things that you're going through, whether it's depression, anxieties, you know, things that we all go through in life. You know? So um, I really wanted to read uh, a couple pages out of my book with y'all. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? So the opening pages to my book is called Life of Death. Um, the reason I call it Life of Death is because I wanted to come in strong and um, address certain things that I've been through in my life and that I wish I could change. So I talk to myself from my life's perspective. And I challenge the reader to do the same thing. What do you think your life would tell you? What do you think um, things that you've done wrong, things that you would change? So this is I like talking to myself like a death. I'm the best thing you were ever given. But envy, I hate your actions. I'm the most thing you should be grateful for, but I'm the most taken for granted. I've given you constant opportunity that you complained about how you never made it. I put all the tools of success in front of you, yet more drugs are created. I hate the things that you put in me. The liquor and how you feel your kidneys. It's like the more the world tells you to cherish me, the faster you try to end me. You're too focused on your enemies, your losses instead of victories. Stop asking me for sympathy, not considering one day I'll be a member. And on the real, I ain't talking to ghosts. And when I'm gone, I heard that's when you want me to post. Stop asking me for answers. And fortune tellers don't know I'm a long story, but I'm really the shortest person you know. Enjoy the people you love. I want you to spend those checks. I want you to use it to guide the youth while you still got breath. Stop telling me I'm a bitch and screaming it like I care. I want you to treat me like you love me even though you know I'm a bitter of life. And I hate when you say you hate me. When I take everything from you, I want you to appreciate me. I've been cruel since we met, but I want you to see I'm innocent. I filled you with blessings, but you only filled my emptiness. You blame me for being strange. You told me that I'm in the dark, but I gave you all the shapes to mold me and how you want. And you treated me so low with your shows, pounding and hoes. You think I'm all about sex, entertainment, and clothes. It's like you always got an excuse for me and you ain't close. It's like I watched you run from me, but you want me the most of life. Thank you, God. <laughs> a dark page, you know, and some of the pages of my book, I actually wrote from that dark page and I revised it and I talked about my life. And this, uh, this next poem is called, What If I Never Did Drugs? And I challenge the readers to uh, tackle advice that they went through. It doesn't have to be drugs, it's something that you know deters you from your ultimate mission. And how you feel about it and where you think you would be if you never got involved with that. This poem is called, What If I Never Did Drugs? It gets real deep, y'all, you know. I'm fully sober now, by the way, you know. So, <laughs> so, you know. When I perform this, it's always like going back to that place, though, you know what I mean? It's like, what if I never did? I'd be a scientist, maybe a psychologist. I wouldn't be this mental patient, I'm just stating the obvious. And I'd be way closer to changing the world if I could give back the moments that I gave to the world. Like, me being sloppy drunk at parties where I'm talking tough. The liquor bring the courage, so I'm nervous when the bottle's shut. Scripting bottles up, finished and we fall in the cut. You meet a whole different county when you talk to me drunk. I'm sparking the blunt. Feel safe when I'm back in my comfort zone. If I could have that substance, baby, I could spend months alone in a sad life. That people take a sign for to come down. Looking in the mirror is the worst part. I learned hard lessons. I lost a lot of homies. I lost a lot of women. Spending most nights lonely. Got me thinking if I wasn't dark, maybe I'd be blown. What if I never did drugs? Uh, 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 uh. What if I never did drugs? Uh, 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 uh. What if I never did? I'd be a millionaire. 
at least a couple hundred thousand. I'd have brought my family cribs, at least a couple private houses. I wouldn't know my friends. I would go to different parties. I wouldn't have got jumped OT when the people called me. I would have different hobbies. I know y'all probably think I'm a goner, but I owe the change to my mama. I owe the change to my sister. I owe the change to my niece. I don't want to hear them screaming, Callie, please rest in peace. If I never hit that bottle, I don't know who they know. If I never hit that blunt, my lungs would be Usain Bolt's. I'd be way close to the family and tripled up on my savings. Maybe if I write this poem, it, it'll force me to change it. What if I never did drugs? Uh, 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 uh. What if I never did? Thank you, guys. <laughs> guys at that and I really appreciate you guys giving me the mic. I appreciate what you guys are doing here. You know, I'm definitely all for it. I'm fully behind it. You know, you can check me out on social media on all platforms. I'll follow you back. All that. I'm um, doing a lot of things in my community too. You know, I'm doing a lot of food drives, a lot of toy drives. Trying to, because um, I come from a, a, a different place, you know. Um, statistically, I'm supposed to be dead or in jail, you feel me? From being my age. And where I come from and in my environment, you know, the, the people that I started with, you know, a lot of them are dead or in jail, you know what I mean? And i um, been foster care system, if not a juvenile system, incarcerated multiple times, went through it, you know, ex-drug addict, went through the whole emotion, you feel me? And I'm a living testament that you can't make it out. You know, now I'm doing a lot of things, traveling, doing music, pushing positivity, pushing mental health, working on a couple of TV shows, working on my music, doing a battle rap thing, you feel me? So I'm a living testament that you can really, really, really come from the bottom. You can really, really come from the back of the group home, you know what I mean? And, and really change your life and make it out, you know? There was a certain point where I thought, thought it was over, you know? I thought this was where my life was gonna end, and it didn't end up that, you feel me? I met the right people. The right people put the right message in my heart. The right people put the right message in my ear. And it translated into my brain and came out of my heart, you know what I mean? So that's what I try to do every day with my poetry, with my music, with my social media, with all my platforms. So I do appreciate you guys, man. Much love. Thank y'all.